What's going on guys and welcome back to Fallout 4. The game got a new bit of DLC today, the Vault Tech Workshop, and I got a distress call on the radio from a base on the other side of the wasteland. So we're going to head over, check it out, and see if we can even make our own underground base. I've called my own private vertebrate to fly us over there, so without further ado, let's check it out. Cheers, bro. I'll call you when I need you. Okay, I think the vault's somewhere down in this quarry. Let's see if we can get down there. Oh, that was probably not the smart way to do it. Is this... Is this healthy water? This doesn't look like healthy water. Okay, just in here. Now, it said distress call. So, I don't know if that means there are going to be lots of bad guys. Oh, good. Lucy came in here with me. As long as she doesn't blow me up like last time. Where do we even... Are these bad guys? Oh, they're bad guys. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. There we go. Get... Oi, I just shot my own robot's arm off. I am consistently bad at video games, aren't I? I cannot catch a break. Oh shit, he's gonna blow. Oh wait, no, he's blowing them up. I forgot I, I equipped I equipped Lucy with a nuke. I think we're pretty good here. We're pretty good. Get out of here, dude. There we go. Every single time you see a vault door open, it's always like the most epic thing. That was like my favorite part of the trailer. God damn it! Okay, where are we going? Stop launching nukes inside! We've talked about this! That's basic common sense. If I swear to God, if she blows me up. I swear to God, Lucy. Okay, I'm getting out of this armor. It is just... Really chugging me up. Look. Inside the robot... Was another robot. Oh my God, we're all robots. Okay, I think that lady on the radio is like through here. She got like buried behind the wall. More rubble. Give me all the rubble. Oh. Well, aren't you a looker? I was given a tour of what was She's looking pretty good for 200 years old. Are these bad guys or are they Okay, they're bad guys. Jesus Christ, Lucy. Seriously? She, she has no middle ground. She doesn't understand how to deal with something without literally destroying the entire area. Maybe I should just take the nuke off her. Do I get to start building things now? Are they just like staring awkwardly at each other? <laughs> um, I broke it. I broke it. Good job. Why do I always do this? I don't know what to do. It's just stuck. Talk and unlock the... I killed her. I, I killed her. Did I... I got an achievement, but I failed a mission. I don't know how to feel about this. Well, I guess it's our vault now. Let's get all this crap cleaned up. Okay, I've cleared out the entire room. Now we get to actually... What the fuck is she blowing up now? Stop nuking my new vault, Lucy. We just moved in here. She... She... She nuked a rat. You are fucking insane. You know that, right? Okay, now I don't want you guys to have to sit around while I cover the entire floor with floorboards and the walls with other crap and make it all look a bit more beautiful, so in the snap of my fingers, we are gonna suddenly have this thing looking semi-respectable. Okay, so I might have gotten a little bit carried away in the meantime. I just meant to kind of put down a couple of floorboards and build a couple of walls, but instead, I've decided that we're gonna build the number one sweatshop for clothes making in all the wastelands. So I've started off by, you know, putting in a couple of gallows here, just so we can have some people as an example, if anyone tries to disobey me. Then over there, we've got the command center, which only I can get up to with the key to the elevator. And then, if you'll escort yourself over here, you can see behind this vault door is where I keep the workers. It's very secure. They're not going anywhere without my say-so. You. 
Lock yourself up. Sure. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, sure. Sure, I'll just go stick my head in a stockade. Don't be so happy about it. I gotta find a way to make this more miserable for them. They seem too happy. They're too happy about being locked up and put in stockades. That's not right, I tell you. Okay, step one to starting a factory is everyone's got to have a uniform. So I made a quick kind of like clothing manufacturer thing and right now we're just printing off a whole bunch of pink dresses. Pink dresses are going to be the uniform of Vault 58, which I think is, oh god, no, it's just dumping them on the ground. You stupid thing, you're supposed to hold on to them. It's dumping all the dresses on the ground. No, stop, stop, stop. Everything needs to turn off. This is not what I wanted. I Time to make you all look so fabulous. What the hell? These guys just teleported in. Crap, quick. Yeah. Don't worry. We got more than enough dresses for everyone. Just stand right there. Oh my god, there are more of them. They're literally like... <laughs> multiplying in every second. I think I got enough for you all. Don't worry. Here we go. Yeah. Everyone stand very still. I feel so sorry for this guy. He's trading down from this, like, badass armor into a sexy rose-colored dress. Can't feel too bad. Oh my god, you all look beautiful. And those guys, I don't know what they're doing, but you all look amazing! Man, the workforce is growing really quickly. We might need to build more beds. But first up, we gotta start building our firework factory. Yeah. Alright, listen up, folks. You all got your uniforms, except Preston. Because he's special and entitled and he refuses to wear what I want him to wear. We're turning ourselves out from a dress manufacturer. Now we do weapons. Nuclear weapons. And fireworks. Nuclear weapons and fireworks. We're gonna be rich, I tell you, rich! What the fuck? Guys, I I just did something really bad. I like picked up the entire vault. I'm not even kidding. You can literally see right now. I'm moving everything. Whoa. Uh I'm kind of scared. Just drop it. Drop it. Jesus Christ. I was just trying to pick up this body. And then, oh god, I've done it again. This just seems like poor design, if you ask me. Although I'm pretty impressed that I can carry this. I must bench on weekends pretty well. Okay, I'm just gonna drop that for now. Apparently this corpse isn't going anywhere. It is physically attached to the entire building. So we're kind of screwed on that front. The room was so dark, so I've just started putting lamps literally everywhere. To try and light it up even a little bit. Do you reckon <laughs> He's a lamp head. These are like the most ornamental lights that you can possibly buy. People lamps. Okay, now we gotta actually figure out what we wanna manufacture in here. We got our sweat camp kind of holding area. We got our stockades to really enforce that sense of misery. But I don't know what we're actually gonna build. Okay, you know what? I've decided to screw the factory. We're just gonna build a really long and overly complicated torture chamber. Where we can basically put all the inhabitants on a conveyor belt, make them go around the room in a big circle, while going through a whole bunch of different torture chambers. This is my kind of fallout. Okay, first things first, I'm trying to confirm that we can actually get the settlers to stand on a conveyor belt, because you can't actually tell them to walk there. So I'm gonna have to see if we can put this conveyor belt under his feet, and then have him take off. Oh. Yes! Oh my god, it works! Okay, our torture factory is in business, baby. The first thing that the settlers are going to go past when they begin their torture run is a line of paintball guns. We're starting it off pretty simple. We don't want to kill them first up. You want to slowly increase the pain until they really don't want to be here anymore. Okay, trap number two, we're going to ramp things up a bit. We're going to get flamethrowers and fire and lots of other painful crap. You could really say we're turning up the heat with this next one. <laughs> okay, that was a really bad pun. I apologize. I don't actually apologize, but that was a really bad pun. Okay, we're gonna have a few of these. I want it to be like a, a continual roasting. Like the kind you'd give a good Christmas ham. Then we're gonna have one at the end. Just get some of that front on cooking action. I reckon that's pretty good. We could maybe add more, but I, I think it's nice to start off with something a little bit more reasonable. You don't want to go all out right at the beginning. Okay, here we go. And he's off. Who's this one? Oh, God. 
Looks like he's already been uh, burnt by a couple of flamethrowers, actually. Oh, well, don't worry then. It's nothing you're not used to. Okay, I've turned off the first ones, or I think they're out of ammo at the very least, so they shouldn't trigger. So don't worry. You get a pass on the uh, on the paintballs. You you do, however, get to uh, be the first one to experience the flamethrowers. That's probably not going to be fun. Oh, there we go. What? He's impervious to it. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, the last one got him. Well, I'd say that's a pretty good first test of uh, Muzalk's factory torture chamber. We could probably do more. Tell me what you guys reckon I should build next in the comment section down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you legends in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, this kind of kills me. Oh, no, he's chasing me. He's chasing me, and he's going to blow. This was a bad idea. This was a really shitty idea. No! <laughs>